Greetings and thanks for being here with me. Today I'm going to show you how to do seed counting. So if you have a whole bunch of seeds and you want to know how many they are and also what is their relative size, then it can be easily done with image J. So now I'll show you how to do it. Let's start it. Great, so what you need to do first is open image J. If you have not seen that yet, please check out the tutorial on how to download and install image J. And also how to use image J for measuring leaf area or any area of any particle for that matter. These two, two, two tutorials are already there on YouTube in my channel. So check them out. The, link, uh, the links are below in the description box as well as on the cards in YouTube players. So once you open image J, you go open your file. This is my file. The image I'm interested in. As you can see, we have a ruler here. You always have to have a scale and then you always do set the scale uh, so for me to set the scale i need to just make it a little bit larger so it will be easy to set the scale then i go to the line here have say two centimeters as the distance of the scale and then you go analyze set scale and you do two centimeters two and then the unit will be in my case centimeters you can have inches or any other uh, type of measurements. Once that is done, I'm going to take the area I am interested in measuring, which is basically the seeds here. There are two types of seeds here, as you can see, one flax seeds and one chia seeds. So I want to measure, count their number and also measure their size. That's my objective. So I'm going to duplicate this image just to, I don't have to use the original image, leave that aside in case I need to go back to it. It's easy for me to go back to it. And then next, I will just make this a little bit brighter, clearer. Here you go. Just to make it easy for me and also the software to detect the color threshold, which I will do next. So um, I will have to convert this to 8-bit image. And then I go to color threshold, um, which is going to adjust also the threshold of this image. It does it automatically, but as uh, you might expect there would be some gaps like this one here so you will probably need to move a little bit the slider all the way here to cover all these usually these are light reflections when you take the image or from the sun or deformities on the seed so i cover those um, by sliding to make sure all of that is included here you can see they are attached but we can handle that later on so apply you can see now the seeds are sorted out. The small ones are very clear. The shea seeds and the larger flax seeds are very clear. So I'm done with this process. Next, I'm going to do, um, before I go for the analysis, I will do something called watershed that will take care of these uh, connected seeds. That also applies to cells or any other object that is connected. It is always better to separate the seeds in the first place before you actually do this. So that has added one pixel line to separate the connected seeds. Next, what I need to do is just open as always region of interest manager, which is going to be here. Uh, and then I will go analyze particles. So analyze, analyze particles. Here, I set the scale or the size of the highlighted um, seeds to be starting from 0.05 square centimeters. Why? Because I wanted to count first the flax seeds. And then so I'll do that. I will include the holes. And I will also have my overlay masks here so I can see the numbers when the analysis is done. And so this will give me the number of seeds, flax seeds basically, and the size of each one of them. Without having me to do the counting or measuring the size. So all I have to do is just OK. There you have it. All the flax seeds. And you, you can see these two that are connected, you can see here, now are, are considered two different seeds. So they match those seeds. So these seeds are there. And here you have... 49 seeds and each of these seeds is actually measured starting from the top all the way to the bottom 
because it goes by the coordinates of the image. These are how it is numbered. So you can see if you go close up, you can see that all the so the size of the first one is here. This is the area, the mean gray values and deviation and so on. And if remember the analysis that we have done, uh, this can be saved as CSV file and you are set. That is how it's done. Basically, you can see it is CSV file, but I wanted to do more. So I'm going to keep this. I will also add a summary, summarize. Okay. Uh, that will give you the mean, the standard deviation, minimum and maximum size of the, of these 49 seats. Great. Now I wanted to do the same thing, but for the uh, smaller ones, the shear seats. What do I need to do? The same exact thing. I need it. I can save this image, by the way. You can save this image too. So it's, it's very... Um, uh, once you save this image, if you are interested in, that's fine, but I'm not interested in saving it now. I'll do analysis of particles, but this time I don't need the large seeds. I wanted the smaller one. So I'm going to go from 0 0.01 to 0 0.05 instead of infinity. This will give me the smaller seeds because I know 0 0.05 and higher will be the flex seeds. And here we go i don't need to save the older ones there you go you can see now it counted the smaller seeds or the shear seeds and there are 41 seeds scattered throughout the image all sorted out and so you can also save or get the results for this one summarize it and that way you counted the seeds, the smaller ones, and they turn out to be 41 seeds, and this is their area, which is basically their size, and a whole bunch of data I already explained in the other two videos. So if you wanted this information, all available to you uh, in the other videos. That's basically it. This is how you do it. So the most important thing is to make sure that you have a good image with a scale you can see it now these are the um, this is you can save this image in any format you like so let me see i will save it um, as a jpeg there you go and what you need to do is just have the scale set know your size because in square centimeter then uh, after uh, working to adjust the image, basically you make it 8-bit and you also adjust brightness and you do the binary to separate the attached seeds. All you have to do is just go analyze particles and here you decide what size you wanted for your image. For example, this size. You can have this size to any specific size. Point, point 0.01, for example, to Point one for larger seeds. So this is going to give me this the larger seeds. Now it's highlighting the smaller seeds. Okay, you can have any of these counting, the numbers, the outlines. You can do any of that here. And then all you have to do is just go ahead and do it. There you have it. Okay, so that particular particle size, see the particle size I highlighted here, not to infinity, but to point one. But if I go 0.2, it will include more of these seeds. You can see it here, right? And if you go smaller, you will get the smaller seeds. So this allows you to measure a whole bunch of seeds from one single image. You can have all kinds of data from the area to the means, you know, gray mean, intensity, the color intensity, all these data, all this information are all here. Parameter especially is very important. The area is very important, gives you an indication of the size and also the roundness, how round is your cells or your seeds are going to be here. So I hope this was a helpful exercise and try to do it on your own. It will help you and save you a lot of time and money as well because you don't need a seed counter in this situation. Okay, if you like this video, you know what you're doing, 
you need to click like and also share it with other students or other researchers who don't know about it yet as well as subscribe to the channel and support us thank you and you have a great day good luck with your research goodbye